Rudraksh as a seed, this tree mainly grows at certain altitude. Somewhere between 6,500 to 12,000 altitude is where Rudraksh grows in the Himalayan region. And uh, it has very unique vibrations. If you hold a Rudraksh upon anything which is positive in nature, it will naturally go clockwise. If you hold it on something negative, it will go anti-clockwise. If you hold it on something neutral, it will swing like a pendulum. I want to show you what it does, okay? This is just paper, all right? You know about this Rudraksh going clockwise, anti-clockwise, something? Okay. You must tell me which way it's going. Which way is it? This is clockwise, right? Right now, I have not done any energy transfer or anything, just <laughs> crumpled it, okay? Just crumpled it. Just watch this. What's it? So, I don't know if they told you, I'm sure your parents must have told you, your clothes should be properly folded and capped, your bed clothes should be properly folded and capped. This is the difference it makes in your life. In this country, we were always told, after you wake up in the morning, if you do not fold your bed clothes, then devils will come and dance on it. Demons will come and dance on it and then when you go to sleep next day in those kind of clothes, it's going to affect your life. And that's just as a dialectical way of expression and it's true. What we call as a devil or demon is a negative form of life. What we call as a divine is a positive form of life. That which sustains you, that which enriches you is divine. That which affects you in a negative way is a demon. So just this paper, if you just crumple it and keep it, it attracts the negative form of energy. If you keep it properly folded, it becomes positive. This is why from everything to everything, how the house should be, where you should place what. If… I don't know, these days it's all going away, we are going by modern aesthetics. Otherwise, if my grandmother was here, everything where, what should be what, everything should be in a particular way. In the house, if you go probably, if your mother comes from a traditional background, in the kitchen if you go, always salt and tamarind will be kept together, never separately. Do you know this? Is it so? Still maintained? Yes, because all this awareness, unfortunately, just became tradition. It's beautiful that it became a tradition, but without giving the necessary understanding to people why it is so. Simply do it, do it. After some time, somebody comes and says, why should I do it? I'll keep tamarind on my head, salt somewhere else. It doesn't work like that. All these items have something to do with how you live, everything, how it should be kept. So the whole science of seeing how this human being can function at its maximum vibrance. Even a simple peasant in this country knows about it without knowing about it, you know? He does not intellectually or consciously know about it, but he just knows this is how it must be done. Because the whole system of yoga was made into a cultural format and given to people, because people saw the impracticality of teaching every aspect to every human being on the planet. So just make it culture and leave it to them. I want to see that for the next few generations later, as mothers would teach people, children to brush their teeth, yoga will just happen in their lives. This was so earlier. Earlier, Agastya Muni did this to the whole of southern peninsula, that in every home, everybody has an understanding of how to allow this being to atta attain to his full potential. So these things were made aware of, a simple thing like this. Many of you are already doing asanas for at least six months now, you could experience this. You, you keep two shirts, okay? 
one shirt you do like this, both washed clean ones. Do like this and keep it for three days, another one neatly fold it and keep it there. After three days, wear one, close your eyes and feel it, wear the other, close your eyes and feel it, just see how it feels. They're very different. So every aspect was brought into life. So what you see as this culture, because this is a land without God, this is a land without religion, this is just a certain science transmitted as culture. Because of various distortions, that science has been… become all distorted. Putting it back is not easy to the whole society. We want to put it back at least into a few people, hoping that they will be able to impart it to the rest of the larger society sometime in future. If we produce thousand people who really perceive, understand and live that way, I'm sure these thousand people can impart it to a million people. Those million people can do it to many more people. And they may produce many, many more people who are capable of receiving this and things may happen.